My name is Eric Castor. I'm 35 years old and I was born with Leon's and Tay-Sachs. A lot of people don't know what Leon's and Tay-Sachs is. I didn't even know. It's a progressive disease that affects the proximal muscles and causes cramping and weakness in the legs. Um, so it's hard to get uh, in and out of vehicles, climbing stairs. It really is it's affecting me to do the little things in life that, that people take advantage of. Throughout my elementary school life, I, I was always the last one picked on the school teams. I, was, I always had trouble with speech and... but. Academically, I was, I was pretty fine. I, I, I was a good student. My family has been very supportive to me through this whole process. My mom has started a non-profit foundation raising funds and awareness about the disease and all sorted of fun research. We hope that in the near future with the advancements in research, stem cell research, gene research, that we will be able to come up with some kind of a treatment for late onset Tay-Sachs. My dad also takes me golfing, which tries to improve my balance and give me exercise. Eric's been a very determined young man and uh, he's fought through this as best he can. My sister has been very supportive also. I'm unable to drive, so she helps me drive around to parties and go to social events that I would not be able to go to unless I had her support. He is very dependent on everybody around, but you know, at the same time, he's been pretty amazing. He goes out, he loves being with, with friends, he's, um, he was working for a while in human resources. He has a graduate degree. He went to U of A. It was easier to tease him as a little kid, but now, you know, now I, I just try to do everything I can to make everything as wonderful as I can for him because he is doing everything he can to live his life the best he can. But I know that it's hard. He's been a fighter his whole life. He's had a, an amazing attitude, and I feel like it's it's been tough with the cards that he's been dealt. I appreciate all the support my family has given and um, I just want to say thank you. My first friend is Darren Barber. He I've known since first grade. One thing about Eric that everybody knows, he always smiles, he's always happy, he's always fun to be around. He was in my back and he had, he had a, a club in elementary school called the Cool Club. We used to wear the uh, parachute pants on Fridays to school. And he let me in even though I was disabled and um, it's cool. I even shared a bunk bed with Eric in sleepaway camp. My other friend Alan Reed, I've known since junior high school. I was wearing a Celtic, a Boston Celtic jersey. Eric was wearing a Laker jersey. And he comes running up to me and he befriends me. And that's the first memory I have of Eric. He suffers from diabetes, so he knows what it's like to have a disability or sickness. And I think he's, that makes him more sen sensitive. When push comes to shove, we're there for each other. And he was always there for me. And it was, uh, he was a big inspiration for me growing up because I knew I could count on him uh, to talk to. Uh, he'd listen. And no matter how I felt, he always made me feel like things were going to be OK and I was going to be OK. I can serve both of them best friends. I love sports and music, and I have problems going to those events because there's stairs in the stadiums or the arenas, or even the movies. I love movies as well, and most movie theaters have stadium seating, so it's hard to get up the stairs. People take that for granted. I just want to make people aware of the struggles I go through every day. I'm very humble when it comes to asking people to do things for me. 
my ultimate dream is to meet Bono and for him to to sing Miracle Drug as a, my favorite song and U2 is my favorite band and I, I really want to meet Bono backstage because I admire his philanthropy and what he does in Africa with apartheid and AIDS. Eric has a passion for life. I think Bono is is somebody Eric's looked up to in all his charitable events. If he could meet his his favorite band in the whole world, if he could meet Bono and two and see them in concert, he would just be over the moon. It would be amazing. Ever since we were young, Eric had no idea how to dress. He didn't know what kind of food to order, but he did know music, and he's got great taste in music. And I couldn't see a more fitting, apropos time than for him to meet his favorite musician of all time, Bono. He deserves something good. I'm a fighter and I want the people to recognize that and to give him hope that and not give up and that there's only a bright future ahead of him. Oh, my God.